We're at the park with the kids. Just got a GoPro Volta in the mail yesterday. I haven't even had time to open this thing up because I wanted to shoot an unboxing. So here it is, GoPro Volta. Couple reasons why I ended up buying this, but I'll go into that after I test this grip out. Pretty much impossible to open without destroying the box. So, whoops, there it goes. Open this thing up. <laughs> this is what you get in the box right here. Can you see? Hopefully you can, okay. We're just gonna take it out. Right? Oof, oof. So for the benefit of your time, I'm gonna include time codes in there. So feel free to skip ahead. But the first thing we're gonna walk through is the exterior and build quality. Then we're gonna walk through how to set this camera up with the Volta grip. And from there, I'll walk you guys through some of the functions, things that I like, dislike, and then also of course the quirky things that you should look out for. And at the end, I will give you guys my thoughts about the GoPro Volta grip and whether or not this is worth the $120 that is priced at. There it is. Okay, why don't we go ahead and start with the exterior and build quality. It uses very solid plastic. It does feel lighter than what I've expected, which is a very good thing. The grip also has a nice rubberized texture to it to reduce slippage and improve your ergonomics when you're filming your adventures. On the very top, you see the GoPro finger mount and this you can rotate 360 degrees. It just notches every 90 degrees. It's very solid. It does not wobble at all. And that's a beautiful thing. And let's talk about the charging cable. So we have a included USB-C charging cable. It's not removable. And GoPro recommends that if you are not using this cable, you can plug it back into the input charging port. And that would ensure that the we're not getting dust and grime inside the plug. So it's like this self-contained little system here. The GoPro remote sits on the side of the grip with the GoPro pairing button right here, the battery indicator button right here, the record button, also your on off switch slash your mode button. It's really simple to operate but it does have its quirks, which I will cover later on in this video. So stay tuned. Now the back has a pop-out finger mount, which is pretty cool. I love that. And you can attach this to a GoPro backpack or a Peak Design quick release. And right below that, we have two folding legs that can act as a tripod. Last but not least, you get a quarter 20 mount at the bottom, which I love by the way, and you can mount little tripods such as these at the very bottom. Okay, attaching the GoPro onto the grip is extremely easy. It's pretty much the standard GoPro mount. All you need to do is screw this on. However, if I were you, I would definitely consider buying this Yulansi quick release. All you need to do is twist it open. It's magnetic and it has a twist lock at the end. And all you need to do is pop this in and twist and you can quickly remove or put on your GoPro. First thing you need to do is make sure that your GoPro has the latest firmware because that will allow this GoPro to recognize the Volta grip. Number two is charge your battery to max it out on both your GoPro and Volta. All you need to do is to plug the USB-C from the Volta grip into the GoPro. If this is your first time doing this, GoPro is going to recognize the Volta grip and then it's going to send a firmware update onto the grip itself. It takes about a minute for the update to happen. And as soon as that's done, you will know that you can start controlling your GoPro if the light here is white. If it's red or blue, it's not working. As soon as you plug it in, everything just works. The mode button will just work perfectly. Say you want to have it take a photo, you just press the photo button. If you're recording, it will let you know by having a red light right here. Once you stop recording, that light will turn white. You can also use this remote wirelessly as well. And when you're away from your camera, you don't want to walk back and check. You can just look 
at the recording indicator right here. And it'll let you know if it's red, it's recording. If it's white, it's not. Just to let you guys know, the wired connection will only work with the GoPro itself. It will not work with the medium mod. If you're using the medium mod, you have to connect this wirelessly. Quick capture will work if you are directly wiring the Volta Grip to the GoPro itself without the medium mod. Just to let you know, when you're using the medium mod, there are a couple functions that will be missing once you stop recording and that should turn the camera off. Perfect. So quick capture works exactly like it would if you're just pressing the top recording button. This is awesome. I love it. Okay, we have the GoPro now in the medium mod. Let's go ahead and walk through how to set up the wireless connection. It's also very simple. In fact, if you're setting up your GoPro with the Volta Grip for the first time, it should prompt you to set up the wireless connection and all you need to do is hit OK and that wireless connection should already be established. For any reason, if you have to reset it or pair it manually, there is a very easy way. All you need to do is swipe down and then go right and then go under connections, hit connect device. And then now you'll see because of the firmware update, Volta as part of your selection, click that. Now it's gonna say connect Volta. And all you need to do is hit this Bluetooth button for four seconds until a blue light flashes. Boom, that's it. And it will say connection successful. It's just like that. You can see the wire is not connected. So we're gonna go ahead and test this out. Boom, beautiful. Okay, so let's go and walk through some of the functions here. Ultimately, this is a GoPro extended battery. That's all that really is. And technically speaking, there are three ways to use this GoPro Volta Grip to charge your GoPro. Number one is you can use this um, as purely a charger. So you'll see that, you know, the battery is running low to say 5%. You just plug it in and you just use it just like any other charger. Number two is that you can use it without the GoPro battery. There are some benefits to it. Without the GoPro battery, you're relying purely on the grip as the battery source. You are essentially removing a huge heat source from it. For example, if you're shooting at 5K, you don't have to worry about overheating the camera because the battery source is right here instead of inside the camera. And the second thing is that you don't have to worry about the wear and tear of your GoPro batteries. So if you're using all the original GoPro batteries, you do want to preserve life on it, you can consider using this method. The third method is just leave it plugged in. And once this is topped off at 100%, the Volta Grip will basically only do trickle charging or it will stop charging. It's smart enough to do that. So you can just leave the battery in there and just use this thing as a whole unit. I do have questions about the priority of how the battery is being drained, whether or not the GoPro is going to drain this original battery first and then the Volta Grip or vice versa, or does it actually run in parallel? I'm not sure about that. If you know the answer, please leave it in the comments and let me know what you guys think. Okay, on to the remote. I already briefly talked about that, but there's nothing too special about it. The mode button also serves as an on-off button, and you can change the three modes that you have already set up here. And then the record button, the Bluetooth button, is just basically for you to pair your Bluetooth remote to the uh, camera and then your battery indicator. That's pretty much it. The Bluetooth button also serves as a power button of sort to wake up your GoPro camera as well. It's weird, I don't like it, but it does work. On to the one of the main point, which is the actual tripod. And so in order for you to flip out the tripod, all you need to do is find the legs. There's like a little thing and then you can basically point this down as a tripod. I would put this as a quirk in here, although it's nice to have the tripod. The angle of the tripod is a little bit precarious. So you can see how it's just like sitting at a very tilted angle. It's a little bit top heavy. What you need to make sure is you turn the camera and then angle it up. The main thing about this is you have a tripod with you and you don't have to worry about bringing an extra mini tripod and it does come in clutch whenever you are filming yourself. I just wish there's a little bit better system that I can help you know do leveling. Do keep in mind even though if you're mounting it in less than ideal situation like it's somewhat tilted, your GoPro has horizon leveling and you can kind of get away with it up to a certain angle. 
Okay, let's talk about things that I like about the GoPro Volta. Number one, the battery life is good. It's as advertised. So I've tested this out. It really does add a lot of battery life to the GoPro. And I pretty much have like all day filming, especially when you're doing time-lapse. This is awesome. Number two is I love the weight and the size. I feel like it's like just the perfect size and light enough for you to actually want to carry this thing around. Not to mention the finger mount right here allows you to attach it to, you know, different backpacks and things like that. And you can just have a quick release, take it out and you can start filming. The remote is in a great place. I like the fact that it's on the side and that's okay because depending on how you shoot and your preferences, you can always rotate the top so that you either have the GoPro, the back of the screen facing you, and then you have full control over the remote. You know exactly what you're pressing. But again, it's like, there's like four buttons here. So after a while, you just know exactly what you're pressing anyways. I really like how easy and simple it is to set up the wired control. So once all you really need to do, like I mentioned before, is just plug it in and everything pretty much would update itself and it just works, it's plug and play. The wireless side, however, is a different story. I definitely think there could be room for improvement. And this is a perfect segue to go into the dislikes about this grip. First thing I don't like about the Volta grip is the material that they're using seems to scratch extremely, extremely easily. So I've only been using this for about a week, but you guys can probably already tell there are scratch marks right here, right here, and also on the rubberized grip. Now, I didn't go hiking or anything with this. I really just have this inside my sling bag or inside my backpack, maybe next to other camera gear, but this pretty much got scratched up two days after using it. And so keep this in mind. It's not a big deal for me because I intend to keep this and not resell it or anything. But keep this in mind, if you're using this, this thing does get scratched up pretty easily. On to the second thing is the USB-C cable. I really wish that this is just like one inch longer. I like to use accessories like this quick release and it does add a little bit of height onto the GoPro. You will have to stretch this cable out. And even as it is, it seems like it's already putting a lot of stress onto the USB-C connector right here. It's kind of like tilted to the side because of the coiled cable. I don't like how much stress is putting on the connector. If this thing breaks, it might damage my media mod. And this thing is $70, right? What I might do and might, I would recommend you to do is to buy a USB-C to USB-C extension cable just so that you can extend this a little bit and give it a little bit more wiggle room so you're not constantly pulling on the cable and putting stress on the connector. The green screen of Terra. The first time I set this up, I plug it in to the media mod and I start setting up the Bluetooth, just like how I showed you guys. And the next thing you know, I start seeing this screen run green and it turns off. Um, every time I turn it on using the, the, the on off switch here or the Bluetooth button, it would just like turn green on the screen, just like this green screen. And I kind of freaked out for a second. So I try to turn everything off. It froze, I had to pull the battery and then repaired it and ended up that seems to fix it. I have not seen that issue ever again, but just to let you know, if you do see that green screen, it's not the end of the world. You can just unplug the battery and then repair the Bluetooth remote and that should hopefully fix it for you. The price is another thing I am not thrilled about. If you don't have the GoPro subscription, this thing is $130. Now that is a very pricey proposition for a tripod, a battery grip, and a remote. If you're going to buy this, like I did, I just ended up immediately signing up for the GoPro subscription just so that I can get the discount on this. And that brought it down to $101, including tax and ship. So highly recommend getting the GoPro subscription. You can always cancel it later. But if you wanna buy accessories on gopro.com, make sure you get the GoPro subscription. It's a good way to get those discounts. And it definitely offsets that $3 that I just paid. And the last, last thing about the thing that I dislike the most about this grip, is mostly about the remote, is how sensitive it is. If you have it set up as wireless, you can turn on the GoPro camera two ways. 
either through the on and off button or the Bluetooth button. My problem is how sensitive it is. I opened my sling bag trying to get this camera out to film just to find out that my camera is turned on. That started wasting a lot of battery and it sort of defeats the purpose of a battery grip extension, right? If you are wasting battery or just pure idle time. So hopefully there is gonna be some sort of firmware fix where maybe we can press two buttons at the same time to hold these buttons so we won't accidentally turn on the GoPro. Okay, onto the quirks. If you're buying the GoPro Volta, you need to know that the wired control only works with the GoPro itself and not through the media mod. That also means your quick capture will not work with your medium mod either. And the other quirk that you need to know about the Volta Grip is the wireless remote has a big fat delay. You can wirelessly turn the GoPro on, just like this. You expect these buttons to work immediately, but it does not. It takes about like 13 seconds in order for the remote to actually be recognized and start working. And so it'll only work when this light turns white like this then the remote will work. I mean, the fact that you can already turn the GoPro on, it means that the Volta Grip and the GoPro is already connected. So what is that 13 seconds delay doing in order for the GoPro to recognize the Volta Grip's remote? Like, I don't, I'm not really sure what's happening there, but I'm sure there could be room for improvement with a firmware update to reduce this delay. Whew. Okay, so that's a lot in a very short amount of time. Thank you for sticking with me. If you're still here, thank you so much. Please consider subscribing if you want to see more GoPro content. Final thoughts. I originally set out to buy a mini tripod for the GoPro because I started using the GoPro a lot more for vlogging and also BTS shots for product reviews. GoPro started releasing the GoPro Volta, which I immediately jumped on because it really addresses quite a few issues that I have with the GoPro as a vlogging rig. Number one is battery life. It really extends the battery life and gives me a peace of mind. Number two, it gives me a remote control. Number three, it gives me a tripod that I need in clutch whenever I want to film myself walking away from the camera. Even gives me a tripod mount if I don't like this one. Looking at the GoPro Volta Grip, it is the perfect accessories that you can have as a GoPro vlogger, at least as of right now. Thank you so much for your time. I'll talk to you guys soon. Please consider subscribing. Have a good one. Bye.